Haley's had type 1 diabetes for more than half her life. It all started during the Christmas holiday season in 2017. We took her to the walk-in clinic, and at that point, when your sugar should be typically between four and six, Haley's was 26. The doctor said, I'm very sorry. There's no doubt in my mind, Haley has type 1 diabetes. You need to get to the emergency room right away. The four of us went over to the hospital, um, and by then, Haley's sugar had risen to 50 and they realized she was in severe diabetic ketoacidosis and into an ambulance we went and she was rushed to the children's hospital in Winnipeg. Our whole world was turned upside down. When we were first diagnosed and stuff, they explained that, you know, there could be lows in the night. There could be situations where you're going to have to either call an ambulance or rush your daughter to a hospital and stuff. And being rural, now you have to really look around and see what, where's the nearest hospital. Any medical people, period, is probably an hour away. The stress level was just increasing. My, my lack of sleep was getting worse and worse. We'd go to bed and I would set alarms from any, every 30 minutes to every two hours, depending on the night. We felt like we were poking her countless times a day, but it was when we realized, okay, Haley's gonna go to kindergarten soon. What does this look like? I discovered the Dexcom G6 online through a diabetes support group. We looked into it and we instantly ordered a trial kit and yeah. we never looked back. Yeah. Being able to reduce how often we're having to do those pokes on her is a complete game changer. Check your app, check mine. See, what does it say? I love the follow-up. At any point in the day, if I'm wondering how she's doing, I just peek down, follow-up will give me an update. I really like to look at my phone instead of poking my finger. And then that way, if, like, say I was going outside, Mom wouldn't have to chase me going all around. She could just stay inside just looking at her phone. Good to go. Yeah. Taylor's been such a big help. She's learned to glance at the phone and see if an arrow is upward or downward, or nudge us or let us know if she's heard an alert. Sometimes I ask mom if I could get her low candies or something like that. She's learned to ask before taking a snack for herself because she's considerate enough to make sure that Haley could have it at the same time as her. Who's a good girl? You are. This morning when Haley was downstairs playing a video game, I had an urgent load pop up on my phone. So I called her up from the basement and she looked completely fine. She felt completely fine, but I knew right away what to do. I knew I needed to do a finger prick. So Haley sat down, we checked her sugar and it was 2.3. 2.3 straight. That's not a number we'd like to see. And only minutes into the low could I see very faint physical signs on her face and did she start to feel it. We don't know if this is something because of her young age or if it's if she's just someone who is hypo unaware. But as of right now, Haley typically doesn't know if she's high, if she's in range, or if she's low, unless it's a really extreme number. It's too late when she feels it, mm -hmm. so it's a bad situation. So without this technology in play, it's hard to say out loud because we know the facts of what could happen to her in a severe low without even feeling like I'm exaggerating. I really think we owe her life to this technology because what happened this morning happens all the time. Blueberries, can you put three, three, nine? As a type one diabetic, you can't eat any food without balancing it with insulin. So carb counting is a big, big part of our life. A typical school day, Haley helps me make her lunch. We count her carbs together. Can you read the carbs? What number is that? 14. We write out every single bite of food that's in her lunch kit and what the carb count is on that lunch. There we go. You ready to go pack it? Then we get dressed. We head down the lane to catch the school bus. And I have a extra phone that we hand to the bus driver. The bus driver has a reading of Haley's glucose. Haley has her cell phone on her and I sit here with my cell phone watching as her number updates and should Haley sugar ever trend downward or look like it's going to drop, all I have to do is phone her and off to school she goes. Then for the rest of the school day, that magical phone is handed on to the school staff when she gets off the bus. And Haley has a EA with her during the day who helps with the classroom and helps with all diabetes care. It's an amazing yeah. feeling that Haley can have independence at school. Well, I like playing soccer with my friends. I like to play like running games, hiding games. Since getting the Dexcom G6, 
I would say there hasn't been a single extracurricular or physical activity that Haley hasn't been able to do if she wanted to. Go to school and be with her friends is, is the favorite thing for Haley to do. It allows us to be on the sidelines and not mm -hmm. having to be physically with her. It helps her feel safer and makes us feel safer. It changes everything.